Uh, if you don't find a house for rent right away, you can always find yourself a hotel. Now this place was 295 pesos for night until noontime the next day. I was surprised how large it was inside. It cost a lot less than it does in Kubao. And for a place to stay for one day or so, you know, you've got a bed, you've got a CR, you have what you see here. And there was an extra, uh, what do you call this here, fold-up bed here um, in my place. So, uh, today I'm going to show you what I looked at that I found to be very interesting yesterday here in Lucena City on Asian Highway 26. Maybe I'm an off season, I don't know. But uh, this is what I found here. If I can, you can. I say the price is reasonable too for a night or so. I'm back again if I want to go today, go look around and find another. I'll show you what I found. Yes, DK Mason, live and in person, right here, trying to show you how to make your dollars go further here in Asia than they would in your normal country. Well, here we are riding in a Jeep again, going to go house hunting. And uh, this time, I'm very fortunate because I have a tour guide. Someone who's been here for, how many years you've been here? A little bit more than 20 years. <laughs> right here in this same town? Okay, so you guys can know that with a tour guide who's been here for 20 years with his wife, we are going to have some success. So, since it's raining outside, I uh, will turn this off and show you something. Okay, well, I've been looking around for places. All the places that I wanted have tile floors and up and down. The only places I saw that I really wanted, for whatever reason, they didn't want to rent to me. So, I'm going to take something for the time being because I need to get out of two as well and uh, get up out of there. So, today, This is Dr. Regalia. He uh, teaches uh, business administration, and um, we're going to go inside here and make a deal. Uh, they're going to be upset because I'm going to tell these kids, you are not allowed to live here. You have to go. One, two, three, five. I received three five today. No, you give, I give I, you the hat. I'll give you the receipt tomorrow of 7,000. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, very good. Uh, you hold the arch. I'll peel it for you later. This is uh, the backyard. What do you get for 3,500? Well, I've shown you guys many times before how easy it is to make a sign and just go around and see what you can find. You ride some tricycles and have people show you what's available. Believe me, I've done this many times before and I know that with a sign, you can always find somebody who has a place for sale or for rent. And uh, just a matter of you looking around and finding out which ones are interesting to you and making a deal. Now, to be honest with you, the ones that I really wanted, I couldn't get. I like tile floors and up and down. Uh, they wanted contracts. I think that as a tourist, my visa is only good for two months at a time. And I would hate to, uh, you know, it's not possible for me to sign a long term contract. People will rent to you and says, well, okay, now here is the bathroom. I'm not gonna, we got an auto focus on so you can see it's like this. Uh, the water has not been turned on and it's keeping in there, so I'm not even gonna go in there. We have a regular place. I purchased a, uh, yesterday some fluorescent light in uh, this room. It's okay. It's only one wall outlet. I slept on the floor last night. Uh, slept on the floor again. And I'm 
want to hang these up later when I get an opportunity. Just string them up on the ceiling here and uh, this will be for a while until I can uh, find something else that I want. Anyway, uh, just showing you what you could do if I can, you can, and <laughs> that's, uh, that's about all I can say, my friend. So well, let me turn the camera off and stop wasting time. pesos to go into the city and then there's just a, a road and the sign says King's Way over there and Haven Street so that's what we have here in this neighborhood for 3,500 pesos here in Lucena City Asian Highway 26 with D.K. Mason the first Calvary uh, on the back of some Filipino money 500 pesos and you see the American flag on the front of uh, 100 pesos. So you know this must be a pretty good place in the Philippines for Americans. Now, I'm here telling you about how it is for one guy, myself, who does not speak to dog and who's never been here before, deciding to travel on Asian Highway 26, which is one of 32 countries in the Asian Highway Network. You can go to AsianHighwayNetwork.com for more information. And so I said, well, rather than staying in a hotel, I'll rent a place. It's a lot cheaper for me to spend, for example, this home, uh, 3,500 pesos. And I began to wonder how safe is my neighborhood. When I look at my walls here and I see bars. <laughs> now, I know people who live behind bars. I'm sure you do too. <laughs> so joking about bars. I have to look around and wonder. I see that this is obviously an attachment to the home. And um, next door to me is a sorry, sorry store where the neighbors uh, sell coffee and snacks. I went there a few moments ago with some cookies. <clears throat> they didn't have any cookies. So I bought some uh, hot chocolate. <coughs> Excuse me. I bought some, uh, some coffee. Anyway, so the people living here, I read some about the AFD administration. I'll come too far away and walk over there. And it was pretty well taken care of. So you can see the extra work they've done here. As I come inside, I again notice the security. I mean, not only do I have bars on my windows, man, it's autofocus. I have this camera here, I'm gonna have to figure out about the autofocus. But look at this door. I mean, I can go there and clink, land the, uh, the, what do you call it, the shuttles there, and put a lock on the door here, and where's that lock at? Right there? Yeah, let's see here. Put a lock on the door and have my security. Then you can see that they did this additional. I noticed the other day there was some water here, and, uh, I just brought all my stuff in for the city, so there you go. There's a drain here, but it's a little slow coming out the water, but it works. And uh, I use this bar here. I washed some clothes today, rinsed out my clothes. Uh, there's my other thing in the store too. Now hung it on there because it appears to me that's what they did with this thing. Just kind of hung it up here. Something is obviously in here. Clothes is okay. Extra light sockets for whatever I might want to do. And uh, there was a sink over there. There's no for my stove. And I noticed under here, if I was to put this stove here that I have, this two burner, uh, in that box there is a gas tank. 
and uh, there's no hole in the sink for me to put the, the gas tank under there. So uh, I'll just have to get some other cash and put a put the stove there. Once again, this was oh look at that, all the focus. I, I gotta figure out how to turn that off. Anyway, there's uh, some windows there. So you can see they added on here. And uh, of course with this corrugated tin roof, it's a little warm. And uh, the neighbors have a dog with a three foot chain on it. And she's a female, she can't go, I mean it's three feet long, maybe four feet long, and that's as far as she can go. So, uh, no, uh, I washed some clothes with my bucket. On the, uh, for the faucet, go about the floor. There's no on the wall, and this particular home here, 3,500 pesos, what's that, 88 dollars? for a two-bedroom home. I'm not really gonna complain, guys. You know, my Filipino name is Mr. Mora, Mora Kuriput. And I'm the only person in the Philippines with that name. That's my Tagalog name. Mora means low price. When you say, uh, I went to negotiate for the price for something, somebody tells you they want 10 pesos. How about the last, the couple, last price? Last price is the final offer. If you give me a Mora cost, Mora means cheaper. And Kariput means a thrifty person, which you might call a selfish bastard in the U.S. <laughs> so I'm the cheapest, <laughs> the cheapest low-priced guy you gotta get. And everyone laughs when I tell them my name. I say, well, I have a Filipino name and I have an American name. Oh, you have a Filipino name? What's your Filipino name? I say, Mora, Senora Mora Kariput. And everyone laughs because it's a joke. Uh, the windows over there have bars on them also. And uh, I had some foam on the floor where I slept the other night, last night. I used to throw stuff around. You see it now, and later when I get something done here, I brought all this stuff here on two trips on the bus from Two Gigarao City. Now, right now, I was trying to hang the lights up on the ceiling here. And so I got some, uh, purchase uh, what do you call that, fluorescent lamp. I wanted it to go left and right. But the cord didn't fit the light socket. And over there, you can see I have another that right there. A little fluorescent energy saving bulb. And the ceiling obviously is not uh, conducive to uh, doing much work. So what I'm going to do is acquire some paint. I borrowed today already. Uh, I asked about the stone, but this phone is for decoration. <laughs> I'm gonna probably put the computer up over there as you normally, as you see I normally do. I borrowed a, uh, okay, back about security. Let's see what we got in here. Here is a, this used to be a little store that sell things here, so open up the, uh, right here, another lock. Open up the, uh, what do you call that? Okay, she asked me, did I want the lock? I said, no, I'm not going to sell anything here. Electricity is the way they simply come by and look at it. They did not like before. And, uh, she's got it. She's got it. Let's take a break. Hey, what do you got? Huh? Come here. Uh, guys, give me a break. I gotta get this lock open here. Hold on. Whatever it is, he says, ice cream is five pesos. So, uh, I'm gonna get one. Five pesos, let's see. Last time I went to the bank was 42 for a dollar. 42 for a dollar. I think I've received recently, in six months, it's about 43 97 about a thousand of those. So, let's see what we got here. Cinco pesos? I've seen better for five pesos. But, uh, you can get eight of these, eight or nine of these for a dollar. <laughs> so, I washed some clothes. And I hung them up to dry here. There's a hat with my name on it. I had to go wash it out. E.K. Mason. 
Yeah, some shorts and shirts. Anyway, so I'm showing you what life would be like for one person who came to the Philippines, never been here before, does not speak Tagalog. I speak a very good Spanish. You are traveling on Asian Highway. Doing this is the dating game. Traveling on Asian Highway.